Okay guys, so eCraft Geeks are back. So we are going to continue with our OPA. Today we will begin with the different stages of operational amplifier. The figure shown is the block diagram of an operational amplifier or OPAM. It has three stages, input stage, intermediate stage and output stage. Let's begin with input stage. This is the first stage and has following characteristics, high CMRR, common mode rejection ratio, high input impedance, wide bandwidth, low input offset. These are some significant characteristics for the performance of the operational amplifier. This stage consists of a differential amplifier stage and a transistor is biased so that it acts as a constant current source. The constant current source greatly increases the CMR of differential amplifier. Following are the two inputs to the differential amplifier. V1 is equal to non-inverting input and V2 is equal to inverting input. Intermediate stage. This is the second stage and designed to get better voltage and current gain. The current gain is required to supply sufficient current to drive the output stage where most of the operational amplifier power is generated. This stage consists of one or more differential amplifier followed by an emitter follower and a DC level shifting stage. Level shifting circuit enables an amplifier to have two differential input with a single output. V out is equal to positive when V1 is greater than V2. V out is equal to negative voltage when V2 is less than V1. V out is equal to zero when V1 is equal to V2. Output stage. This is the last stage of the op-amp and is designed to have low output impedance. This provides the needed current to drive the load. More or less current will be drawn from the output stage as and when the load varies. Therefore, it is essential that the previous stage operates without being influenced by the output load. This requirement is met by designing this stage so as to have high input impedance and high current gain, however with low output impedance. The operational amplifier has two inputs, non-inverting input and inverting input. An operational amplifier is basically a three terminal device which consists of two high impedance input, one called the inverting input marked with a negative or minus sign and the other one called the non-inverting input marked with positive or plus sign and the third one is the output terminal. Inverting input In this configuration, the input voltage signal is applied directly to the inverting input terminal which means that the output gain of the amplifier becomes negative in value. A signal which is applied at the inverting input terminal is amplified, however the output signal is out of phase with the input signal by 180 degrees. Non-inverting input In this configuration, the input voltage is applied directly to the non-inverting input terminal which means that the output gain of the amplifier becomes positive in value. A signal applied at the non-inverting input terminal is amplified and the output signal is in phase with the input signal. The op-amp can be connected in large number of circuit to provide various operating characteristics. The output voltage signal from an operational amplifier is the difference between the signals being applied to its two individual inputs. In other words, an op-amp output signal is the difference between the two input signals. As the input stage of an operational amplifier is in fact a differential amplifier, the voltage gain AV of the operational amplifier can be found using the following formula. AV is equal to V out divided by V in.